Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of August. That was weird. Let's see what this is talking about. So, ooh, look like some secrets coming about. So I feel like maybe by email, text message, some kind of message about some secrets coming out of some some bad doings. All right, what's going on for the Gemini? I just want to jump right in. You want to read and check in the description box below. Thank everybody for watching, sharing, subscribing. All right. You guys want to speak, so let's go. All right. What's going on for the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini for the week. End of 8-18-2017. What's going on for the Gemini? Mm. So somebody's in limbo. Somebody might be scared of something where it got a sacrifice coming up. They don't know what to do. Mm, wow, my my brain just wiped clean just now. I don't know what that means, but let's keep going. All right, what's going on with the Gemini for the weekend? I don't smoke weed. <laughs> what's going on with the Gemini for the weekend of 8, 18? Not nothing wrong with it. I just can't do it. All right, 8, 18, 2000. And 17. Oh my gosh. All right. So somebody is coming out of some conflict. I feel like somebody is looking back on something, something, a conflict that happened in the past to get over it. Okay. So somebody is basically freeing themselves from some past drama. Wow. I can't remember none of the cards before your eyes. So just let me know how this go. All right. What's going on for eight? All right, so we dealing with somebody who is revengeful, dishonest. Maybe somebody that wants um, is down on their luck, down on their finances, and they. I feel like they blaming somebody else for it. All right, what's going on for the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini for the week, weekend of eight eighteen two thousand seventeen. Gemini eight eighteen two thousand seventeen. All right, I feel my memory coming back. All right, so let's hope this go well. So this is the trap card, you know? Somebody feel like restrictions, but I said somebody is coming out of that, but I guess you still aren't complete, okay? All right, so I guess maybe somebody felt trapped in a relationship or something. Um... Yeah, somebody felt trapped in a relationship and they're trying to get over it. Mm. Or somebody feels trapped in a relationship. Wow. Wow. So it seems like somebody's trapped in a relationship and they're happy about it. Or maybe they... Okay, the cards say... This is like somebody's trap. Somebody is restricted from things and it's because of a love relationship, but they like it. Okay? That's what the cards are saying. So maybe it was like annoying at first, but now it's like, okay. And I feel like it got, uh, maybe because Okay. So maybe somebody feel trapped, but they're getting personal gain from this. Maybe somebody was hard on their luck and they stuck around in this relationship because of things that they were getting, okay? But I still feel like you felt for this person or this person felt for you, but it's like, mm, like I'm broke, so I'm just going to deal with it. But it's like, what is this? Yeah. So basically, you broke, you feel trapped with somebody, but somebody is giving you money and it's making you not as sad as you would be. Like you're trapped, but you got money. So this makes me feel like you might have dumped all your money out somewhere. Maybe you lost your money somewhere and you was feeling sad about it and then somebody came up and gave you money, okay? Ooh, so could be Aquarius you're dealing with, Aquarius and a Capricorn, but Jenna reading. 
Um, this makes me feel like... Mm -mm. This makes me feel like you might be trapped by this deceitful person and this deceitful person taking all your money, you know? And you got another person coming in. We're just going to say the Capricorn is coming in and they're giving you things and they're doing things for you to make you come out of this sadness. But still, you're dealing with this Aquarius or water sign is just taking you away, just banking you. Okay. Yeah, so it's an imbalance. So I feel like I'm feeling like you've given all your... Oh, you just stuck with this Aquarius and you're giving them all your time. And this person isn't worth it. And you, you should be giving it to the Capricorn, but, you know, you're doing what you want to do. Or this might be happening to you. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, you're heartbroken. You're torn up. Recovery. So you're not recovering from something. Everything all hectic and crazy, you know. Oh, so you basically stuck in the, stuck in the middle. You know, you want to leave, but you're, you might be married or maybe in a long-term relationship or stuck with this person for some reason. That's what I'm getting the feeling of. But you can't go be happy with this person because you're stuck with this person. Y'all got some kind of money ties together. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great weekend.